Moving on to the AFL Coaches Association Champion Player of the Year Award. This is voted by the 18 coaching panels on a 5-4-3-2-1 basis after each home and away game, acknowledging outstanding effort by an individual player in a season. Previous winners include Clayton Oliver, Lockie Neal, Patrick Dangerfield, Gary Ablett, Adam Goods, Nathan Buckley and Simon Goodwin. Fair company. To announce this year's winners, please welcome to the stage Gold Coast coach Stuart Chu and Melbourne's Simon Goodwin. Thanks, Kath. It's great to be here. It's been an exciting and competitive season and it's continued in the 2022 AFL Coaches Association Player of the Year. Stewie and I are both here as two players couldn't be split. That's right, Goody. We have a tie, um, one of your stars and one of ours. So I'm absolutely thrilled and privileged to announce the 2022 AFL Coaches Association Champion Players of the Year is Clayton Oliver and Took Miller. from the coaches before we hear from the players. Simon, every coach would love a Clayton Oliver and his team. How lucky do you consider yourself? Oh, incredibly lucky. Just the standard of level of performance over the career that he's had so far in the games he's played. He's got, probably got the biggest will to win I've ever seen in a player. Um, he's, can, he's just tough at the footy and just never gives in. So he's a pleasure to coach. He does everything right and uh, his consistency is to a high level. And Stuart, how proud are you to see Toot get the recognition he deserves? Oh, it's, it's unbelievable for Tug. He, he deserves everything he gets. He's um, a true professional inspiration for all of us at the club and we're, we're lucky to have him. Now to our winners. I'll ask Tug and Clayton. Yeah, you first, oh. Tug. Oh, OK, I'll step in. What an honour is this to be voted by the coaches as a champion player? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously really humbling, um, not only for myself, but I think for the club as well. Um, I know the Gold Coast is one of those type of places that doesn't get a lot of recognition, but I feel very proud to win an award like this, um, not only for myself, but yeah, for, for my club and for my family. Is it a compliment sharing this award with a player like Clayton Oliver? Yeah, definitely. I, I know a man of his, um, his stature, he's an absolutely unbelievable player. Um, I do watch him very closely and I, I love the way he goes about it, especially his stoppage work. Um, but I also um, did know him growing up as well. I remember he was a 10-year-old kid playing in under 12s and cried out in front of the group at one stage. So I do remember him for that, but um, <laughs> the, um, he's obviously come a long way from then, so it's fantastic. Clayton, do you remember that moment? Ah, uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> and I still hate uh, talking in front of people, so I'm not much better than I was uh, about 10 years ago. <laughs> you did win this award solo last year. You OK sharing it with Tuk? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Tuk's an absolute star. And as he said, um, yeah, we've known each other for quite a few years, and I've, I've watched Tuk very closely. Um, what he's done, done up at the Gold Coast is unbelievable. Uh, how hard he runs and how hard he works. Um, yeah, it's a testament to himself and what he's done. Do you consider yourself a better footballer? 12 months on, how have you evolved in the last year? Uh, bit of a tough question, but um, I actually don't answer that, to be honest. But um, oh, I think as a, as a team and as a, as a football club, we're, we're trying to get better every day. I think that's what you do when you go and uh, play football, we try to get better every day. So, yeah, as an as a AFL and as a team, we're trying to. You're very humble. Congratulations, Clayton Oliver and Tuke Miller, ladies and gentlemen. So many worthy contenders for this award. The other top contenders were in second place, Brisbane's Lockie Neal, and in third, Melbourne's Christian Petrarca. So no surprises there. To announce this year's 2022 Therabody AFL All-Australian team and All-Australian umpires, we're thrilled to have AFL 
W star Emma Carney with us this evening. She was the 2018 Best and Fairest winner and is the only player to be named an All-Australian in every season of the AFLW's existence. She was also named captain of the 2022 AFLW All-Australian team. Please welcome the skipper of North Melbourne, Emma Carney. The 2022 Therabody AFL All-Australian Defenders are Tom Stewart, back pocket. Stephen May, full back. Braden Maynard, back pocket. Jack Sinclair, half back flank. Sam Taylor, centre half back. Adam Saad, half back flank. He's on the run, Stephen May. May fronts Bob the kick and nicely. Cannon went too far in and May. He's a crowd favourite, Stephen May. Goes for a two on one. May chops it off. Mays' tackle is sort of just how they are. Braden Maynard, Stephen May, congratulations to you both. Braden, what's it like to be selected in the All Australian team for the very first time? It's amazing. I mean, to be able to sit here alongside Stephen and some other great footballers, it's, um, yeah, it's an absolute honour and a privilege to be sitting here. What would have been more believable at the start of the season, you being an All Australian or Collingwood in the top four? <sighs> Ooh, I don't know. Collingwood being in the top four is pretty amazing. Um, to be able to yeah, finished 17th last year and then um, finished top four this year. It's obviously a credit to the coaching staff that uh, Graham Wright got on board and um, I'm absolutely loving it down there. Amazing. Must be a prerequisite. You've got to be a hothead to be an All-Australian defender. You're both hotheads. You boys, you, you wear your heart in your sleeve. You've got plenty of, plenty of aggression. Yeah, certainly. Um, would love to go to battle with uh, Braden. Um, he's, a, he's a fierce competitor and I love watching him play. How's the year been for you, mate? Obviously, it's been difficult... Uh, backing up, it's always hard the next year after winning a premiership and of course you want to win a premiership back on your home ground. How's this season been compared to last? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a lot more difficult to be honest and you know, um, we went away in the summer and 17 other teams dissected our game plan and um, you know, every time we had a match they, they really wanted to knock us off being the premiers so um, it's been quite hard but um, it's been a different challenge and we feel like we're starting to get our, our mojo back and um, yeah, we're ready for the pointy end. Take us onto the field, Stephen. How do you strike the balance between playing on opposition guns but also being a great interceptor yourself? Yeah, it's, the, it's, the, it's a tough job because the guys we're you know, playing on that will be announced shortly are the superstars of the league and um, you've got to respect them, but you also need to help the team defence and, and try and have an influence with the ball in your hands. So, um, you know, I, I have, I'm lucky to play with like Harry Petty and Jake Lever who are able to help me in intercepting areas, but um, my number one job is to try and stop the, the big full forward. Now, Braden, uh, my old teammate Craig McRae, your coach this year, he used to always wear a hat around that said minibus on it because he thought he was only half a coach. Clearly, he's, uh, <laughs> he's proved that wrong this year, mate. He has. He's, um, yeah, for him to come in and do what he's done so far, it's, yeah, it's amazing to see um, what they've done and what they've brought to the club. It's, um, it's great to have different coaches from different clubs and... Um, a bit of a fresh start, so you like, and I've absolutely loved my time so far with, um, with having him as the head coach. Uh, the close finishes, so is anything to do with luck or that's all planning? That's all planned, mate. We go to work every day. And, um, we are a lucky bunch, but we are playing some seriously good footy and I'm looking forward to finals. Good luck to you both in September. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our All-Australian Defenders. Amazing. Well, Braden, good job. Well, it is now time to reveal the midfield of this year's Therabody AFL All-Australian team. The 2022 Therabody AFL All-Australian midfield are Took Miller, wing. Clayton Oliver, centre. Callum Mills, wing. Max Gorn, ruck. Patrick Cripps, ruck rover. Lockie Neal...
beaten to it by Oliver. That is so exciting to watch. Oliver's hot as a pistol. Towards half forward, Oliver creeps inside, 50 marks. Oliver splits the middle. Plays on, a bit of an arc. It's got to come back from left to right, and it does! Statement made! But straight to Big Max. Max score, clean possession, he's got another one. Too good. Petrarca feeds a handball inside to Brown, to Gorn, to goal. Bang! Max Gorn, Lockie Neal, you were both enjoying each other's highlights just then, weren't you? Uh, yeah, it was much much better looking at uh, on the big screen than watching it actually out there when Lockie's it's going well because it's not normally good for the team when Lockie's when Lockie's doing his thing. Yeah, right, mate. We weren't enjoying your highlights last Friday night, eh? Uh, yeah, sorry. We um, the boys played a really good brand of football. Yes, um, it was good. We sort of the last three or four weeks the, the finals was up in the air for us and we needed to win at least three or four of them and. We capped it off a really good win against Brisbane. It does it feel like that? It feels as if Melbourne's got the momentum back, that form that we saw at the start of the year and, of course, the end of last year. Yeah, we had a, had a really non-Melbourne non game against Western Bulldogs. We lost by a kick. Both teams scored over um, triple figures. And since then, we played 3-0 and 3-0 and had a really good result and had some really good MCG games against Collingwood and Carlton and finished it off at Brisbane. This is becoming a routine for you, Max. Your fifth straight All-Australian selection and sixth overall. Does the honour differ in any way the more times you're selected? Uh, I mean, it might when I look back on it a little bit later on in my career. Um, this one, I really do appreciate it because I've, I've sort of given Luke a fair bit of time in the ruck and um, I'm still getting my time in the ruck, but when I'm there, I'm making sure I perform and um, it's still really high on my checklist when I go out and play that I have to perform when I'm in the ruck and... Um, yeah, to get the award again um, is a pleasure, yeah. Now, Lockie, uh, what's the biggest thrill? Sitting here winning your third All-Australian or today you interviewed Shaquille O'Neal? <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't do too much interviewing. I was pretty nervous in front of the big fella, so um, I think I squeezed in one question and left Cripper and Tommy Mitchell to do most of the talking. He's a pretty intimidating yes. bloke. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was a, a privilege to be able to talk to him for 15 minutes today. Um, so, yeah, it was pretty cool to do. How did you stack up against him size-wise, mate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. About up to his knees, mate. Yeah, it was. It was uh, Cripper's a big boy, as we know, and he was nowhere near him. So, uh, geez, he's a big fella. Uh, is this your best year? You won the Brownlow medal a couple of years ago, mate, but you've had a fantastic, consistent season this year. Yeah, I think probably more consistent um, than 2020. I feel like... Um, Fitness-wise, I really set myself in the off-season and pre-season to set myself up. I know it's really cliche and a bit boring, but I genuinely believe that that's the key to um, having a great season individually and probably collectively as well. If you have too many injuries in the off-season and pre-season, it can really affect um, seasons. And um, I had a poor 2021 and wanted to bounce back, and um, it started with my off-season um, and, to be honest, my diet and just getting to work. So. I um, feel like I had a more consistent year than 2020, um, added a few strings to my bow and um, still feel like I can go again. So um, hopefully finish off the year well in finals and then um, look to improve again. You've been doing opposition coaches' heads in for quite some time now. Take us on to the field. First centre bounce and someone's clearly there to tag you. Is your natural reaction, really? Do you have to? I think it uh, used to be, um, but I feel like I've really matured in that area. Something that I had to work on, though. Um, I was lucky enough to play behind some great midfielders um, before me and never had to deal with that at all. So um, probably the last few years, it's been my turn to, to take that at times. But um, I try and wear it as a badge of honour, to be honest. It means that the opposition um, coach really rates you, um, think that you can influence games. Um, so I try and um, keep that positivity in my head, and they're doing it for a reason. So um, try and stay really positive about it. But I reckon... Early on, I was getting a bit frustrated and trying to wrestle my way through it, and um, the size of me, that doesn't work. Just do what your, your mentor does. Diesel Williams used to give him one. You know, I know, he's Gil McLaughlin here tonight. Is he still on the clock? Um, just be careful, mate. Don't give him one next week. We're going to keep going all the way through the finals. Maxi, uh, what do you do for the week off? The Obviously, no game this week. You've got the big game next Friday night against Sydney. Uh, how do you approach the weekend off? Uh, yeah, we sort of look back 
try not to look on last year too much because it's a completely new year, new team, new venue, new city. Um, but we, we certainly had some training sessions that were really combative. So um, we've got a big session down at Casey tomorrow, which will be 40, 50 minutes of, match, of, of genuine match, ma match play, which will be good. Um, so you get that, you hit, hit the bodies and you don't really miss a week. Um, so the buy is, it's not really a buy. You're still getting that really big game in and then we'll have the weekend off and look into Friday. Well, all the best for finals, you two, and congratulations on yet another selection. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, all Australian midfield. It's back now to Emma to reveal the forward line of this year's Therabody All-Australian team. The 2022 Therabody AFL All-Australian forwards are Christian Petrarca, half forward flank. Jeremy Cameron, centre half forward. Shay Bolton, half forward flank. Charlie Kerno, forward pocket. Tom Hawkins, full forward. Tyson Stengel, forward pocket. Petrarca, bust through. On the run, Petrarca from 50. Bang! Petrarca over the top, just floats through the air. He's all class, Christian Petrarca. 